How to use a clipper to measure objects. This is a vernier clipper. It consists of the internal jaws, the external jaws, the vernier scale, and the fixed main scale. Example. How to measure the zone of inhibition using a vernier clipper. When you want to measure the inhibition zone size, you should measure the zone diameter to the edge of the growth. Once you have found the zero mark on the vernier scale, you should look for the mark on the fixed scale, which corresponds with the zero mark on the vernier bottom scale. This example here shows two centimeters, that is equal to 20 millimeters. Then, to obtain the next reading, you should look along the marks on the vernier scale and the millimeter marks on the fixed scale until you find the two marks that most closely align as a straight line. Read the digit from the vernier scale. The closest reading here is 2.5. To get the correct reading, you should add your first reading and your second reading together. In this example here, the reading will be 20.25 millimeters. What is the reading for the zone of inhibition here? This example here shows reading of 22.1 millimeters. For the purposes of reporting antibiotic susceptibility testing, the zone sizes are reported to the nearest millimeter. In this example here, the zone size will be reported as 20 millimeters. To find out more about the zones of inhibition and their interpretation, go to http colon forward slash forward slash bsac.org.uk.